Test one, test two. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. God, I hate when that fucking happens. <laughs> Oy. Okay. So. Have you tried turning it off and on again? I unplugged it and plugged it back in. <laughs> um, so, I was just stating that we're going to try to wrap up Soma tonight. Uh, I think we're pretty close to the end. We'll probably start Mortuary Assistant, unless it gets a little too late or if my arm starts bothering me. Um, uh, I mentioned HelloFresh uh, still going on, um, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. Ask any questions you want on any channel, whether that's here, uh, Discord, Twitter, Smoke Signal. Feel free. And um, probably not going to have a stream tomorrow, uh, but Friday night I'll be back with Mortuary Assistant and something else after that which i've not decided on yet uh my arm so it's my arm gets most of the the pain of it but i'm pretty sure i have a pinched nerve in my back um about the past two weeks and i am actually gonna i have to book an appointment to see a chiropractor but uh it's basically causing like it's a nerve in my neck and it shoots all the way down my arm into the tops of my hands it really sucks but uh life just gonna deal with it get through it and then i swear i'm gonna start working out again getting bent over too much god god damn it yeah um my first one <laughs> yeah i love you too pal uh yeah, no, I was on, um, they put me on some meds for a while. They said I, I should feel better if I keep stretching and whatever. And I ran out of meds on Tuesday, so I still don't feel that great. Um, and this, is, this isn't this is something that's just going to go away because it's already been basically two weeks. And the meds, like, didn't really do much. So I hope it's still just a really bad pinched nerve and some potentially physical therapy will be required um but at least i could feel better but if it's like something that's like surgical like please no not what i want but whatever happens happens uh but enough about garbage in real life health things let's go figure out like what's going on with these fucking robots in space, right? Or underwater, I should say. We need to go to space. Yeah. Also, when are we going to figure out exactly what Soma actually is? They, they haven't mentioned what Soma is in the game yet. So is there some big reveal? Simon escaped the secret site Alpha, the heart of the WoW. It made his way to Phi. It's time to reunite with the Ark and launch it into space using the Omega space gun. Yeah, this is it. This is Endgame. Yo, what up, my dude? My dearest Vlad. Oh. Damn. The loading sequence. Okay. Whew. Let's do this. I woke up in my bed today. It just happens to have happened a hundred years ago. Sounds like a riddle. It does. I woke up in my bed today, a hundred years ago. <laughs> Who am I? Oh, Who am God. I? Okay, so we're here. Storage? Well, that thing's blinking. I feel like we need to go there. The launch dome. So I go forward this way to go there. Over to my right, which is this way. To get to storage. Can't really go back in here. It looks like it might be locked. I don't know what the I think gray means locked, but I don't I don't know. We'll find out. A satellite is loaded into a shell. Oh. It's all just a the big D's nuts joke at him. Just say he wants some D's nuts. And it ends. <laughs> Enough momentum to escape Earth's gravity is gained before aggression. Reaching space, the satellite will shed the shell and unfold. <laughs> Onboard 
thrusters settle the satellite into an orbit. Hmm. And then inside there is the Ark, which is going to be basically a giant server of every single uploaded human being. And it's just going to be AI versions of ourselves living life. Tunnel transport. Requires manual offload. Hit the wrong button again. Staff they are active. screaming, screaming for vengeance. The world yeah. is a manacled place. Screaming, screaming for vengeance. The world is defiled in disgrace. Nice. Good one. Welcome in, Satan. So incoming, Herbert Peterson, Lindwell, John. Hey, that's Catherine. Ivashkin in hell. Outgoing. Peterson, Lindwell, Ivashkin in hell. Yeah, she's so her actual corpse is in here. That's fucking wild. Like the AI we've been talking to, her actual body is somewhere in this facility. Jesus Christ, hi Wheeler. Thanks for the host. <laughs> Scared me. That's a safe time. I killed two people. Good lord. Uh, unsigned R. Herber visit. Launching the Ark. One last visit. Okay. Uh, great. Let's head this way. It's crazy to think where I am. Shut Not up. Not only is this the future, it's in the middle of the sea. I know nothing of this time or what the world looks like. Not much to brag about now. Before the comet, I guess it was okay. Yeah. Better not oversell. Oh, I can't climb because my, my hand is missing. You seriously not gonna tell me what happened to your arm? Fuck, I forgot. I had to make a quick stop at Site Alpha to help kill the WoW. What? How? Why? <laughs> nah, I was thought it would be killed that thing. Memory of humanity. Okay, let's just get back to work. Yes, I murdered an AI. It's real. What will you do when you get into the Ark? What's the first thing? Make sure the Ark is safe, stabilize flight path, oh, activate what? solar panels. What's this the first over human here? thing you yes. can do? Oh. I need to heal up. She is super robot? fuzzy. Does that count? Hello. I'd say so. <sighs> That's how we lost our left hand. A little different. I don't want to go in there yet. The fuck? It also opens that door. I don't even know what's over here, but let's find out. Fuck it. Okay. I would have put the stump arm in there. <laughs> I guess those doors aren't gonna open. That's okay then. So where's the other freight cranes then? It's like none of these have what I'm looking for. Oh, it's an energy thing. Ah. Maybe I can move it and go open the doors with this. Yeah. How about them apples? Oh, I'm gonna finish this thing? Alright, cool. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the end. <laughs> like, if anything can go by the achievements for a game, I have 9 out of 10 achievements. Alright, found is. the Ark. Good job, Simon. Now we just need to find the assembly space so we can stuff the Ark into a shell. Uh, no problem. I, I got it under control. How the hell am I gonna? I can't bring it back up that ladder, though. Where am I supposed to go with this? I wish there was also an, an objective tracker for this game. Because sometimes, I'm like, where am I supposed to go again? Like, what am I doing? Ah, think I found it. Oh, and a dead person. Awesome. I think I found the assembly space. What do you see? It's like a huge open shell. A bullet ready to be loaded. 
That's great. All prepared for the art. Oh, I have to get the battery pack again. Right. Figured. Are you I would have almost no HUD, but I agree. Here. Sometimes you Doesn't can get lost. Doesn't that defeat the whole purpose? Mm -hmm. Eternity among the stars, remember? <clears throat> the people inside the Ark won't know the difference. We can just keep it down here, and we don't have to risk the Ark being shot and yeah, through 5,000 meters the of lack broken of barrel, barrel it's and better push through sure. another 100,000 meters of a dust-filled atmosphere. Will the casing stand all that pressure? Well, the odds aren't great. Catherine, say something. I don't care what you think. I'm launching it. No need to be like that. Let's just hang on to it it's for a Catherine. while and think about it. We can launch it later. No, that wasn't the deal. We needed to save them, to launch it. Out there, it's hope. Down here, it's a fucking terrarium waiting to die with the rest of us. Come on, Catherine. It's not asking much. Let's just think about it before we risk the only hope humanity has to survive this hell. No, we launch it today. This is my project, my arc. It's bigger than that. Don't you get it? It's not for you to decide. We're talking about the fate of mankind. Get away from the ark. I'm taking it. No, you're not. I'm not going to let you ruin this. Stop it. Guys, calm down. Get away from me. No. What the fuck did you do? It was an accident. Captain, <laughs> talk to me. Catherine. Oh God, Catherine. Did you say something? It's you. That's awful. You had an accident. What are you? Oh. You mean Catherine? Don't worry, it's better this way. It makes it less odd. That'd be pretty awkward if she was still alive. All right, let's get the battery. Yeah, that was, uh, the second I realized it was her laying there, and then there's, like, head cracked in, wrench next to it, like, eesh. I'm gonna assume he with fewer decision. Oh, cool. Um, where the fuck did I put the How did she die? You got into a fight with your colleagues. They didn't want to risk launching the Ark. Thought it might not make it through the atmosphere. They killed me? I'm sure it was an accident. <laughs> they were just trying to stop you from launching. But hey, look who's laughing now. We're launching this fucking thing anyways, apparently. How could they kill me? Catherine. I know I'm not an easy person to lie. It was with a fucking wrench, okay? Me. That's how. Come on, don't do this to yourself. Payload detected. Payload bay, close it. See you later, Ark. Is that it? I'm really not that familiar with guns of any size. Oh, here we go. All systems say go. Lock and load. Hey, tree. The gun. Thank you for the videos, bud. Did you have friends in Toronto, Simon? Real friends? There were some. Jesse, Sean, Kevin. Kevin. I always wanted a friend. Like a real one. Someone you'd never hold back with. I'll be your friend. Oh, pity friendship? Now I feel even worse. <laughs> I have not found out what Soma is yet. Okay, so the Do thing you think is, the Ark will make it through the atmosphere and into space. Gone. It almost doesn't matter anymore. We just need to try. If we burn, we burn. If we're lucky, we just gave humanity a new chance, a whole new era. Right. With the Ark on Earth, maybe we have a few decades of power to keep it running. In space, we have thousands of years. Still. One hell of a gamble, though. This was never about certainty. It's about hope. And there was nothing in here except for the original battery pack. So there's nothing else down here to do. I guess I'll just go back upstairs. Hmm. Yep, look at that stub. <laughs> nice. The cost of killing a murderous a an murderous AI. Now what? Now we just need to get the shell into the gun and then kaboom. Aren't you forgetting something? How are you gonna get us on board the Ark? Don't we need to make another scan? Oh, don't you worry. You don't operate something like the Omega space gun with your bare hands. You mean, it's a pilot seat? Like back at Omicron? 
Yes, and we can use it to transfer you to the Ark while operating the gun. Two birds and all that. Now, take the Omnitool and plug it in next to the seat and I'll guide you through the final steps. Okay. You're hitting the mouse so, so many of your teeth are in your mouth and so many of your teeth are on the ground. Jesus. God damn it, Miller. RK, what's up? Welcome in, pal. Alright, sweat me out, let's go. Underwater gun launching humanity into space. If you're here for the ending, so if you haven't played yet, I might want to duck out for 15 minutes or so. <laughs> Come on. fucking gun in the abyss of the ocean fuck me I thought that massive BFG in Doom was cool this is this is another degree of holy fuck alright so where's the fucking seat oh it's over must be over here oh no I like this game played it yeah. Um, this one was on my list to play for a while. Oh. I'll never get used to that. Guess you won't have to. Not after this is over. Right. Have a seat. Okay. Comfortable? As good as it's gonna get. <laughs> okay, I'll activate the seat. You should be able to use the machines to load the bullet you assembled. How do you operate this thing? Don't know, I never tried this one. But pilot <laughs> seats are notoriously easy to use, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, great. Oh, I'm sorry, calm down. Uh, so let's see. We need to have that thing. Oh, it's right here. Okay, got it. I couldn't see it for a second there. I was like, we have to have it come out first. This is quite easy. Can I rotate? Oh, I, I see. It does the rotation for me. That's nice. There we go. Piece of cake. Okay, ready when you are. Just hit the button and we're off. But we need to transfer our minds to the Ark. We also need to make sure it launches at all, so I tied them to a single switch. Just push the button and we're off. Like, off. Literally, like... <clears throat> as this thing shoots and we're inside of it. What are you waiting for? Just bracing myself. Well, push the button when you're done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Bye. Here we go. No turning oh. back. Thank you, Simon. Don't mess it. It's an amazing thing you did. I want you to know I appreciate it. No. The way she just said that, I don't like that. Time. 20 seconds. What's the matter with the upload? Just give it a second. How'd you guys get a better bandwidth? I've never played this. Catherine, that bitch. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. You gotta be kidding me! Preparing Soma Template. Okay, there it is. Come on, hold! 
That's okay. We're here. I didn't think it was gonna work. <laughs> we were getting on the I thought I she got on and we did. I was like, launched. motherfucker. Yeah, I saw. Then why are we still here? Simon, I can't keep telling you how it works. You won't listen. You know why we're here. You were copied onto the Ark. You just didn't carry over. You lost the coin toss. We both did. Just like Simon and Omicron. Just like the man who died in Toronto a hundred years ago. This is bullshit. We came all this way. We launched the Ark. I know it sucks, but our copies are up there. Catherine and Simon are both safe on the Ark. Be happy for them. Are you crazy? We're gonna die down here with those fuckers living at large on a spaceship. They're not us. They're not us. I'm sorry you feel that way, Simon. I'm proud of what we did. We made sure that something of the hundreds of thousands of years of human history survived, that something lives on. All the lights went out. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck you. Fuck you, Catherine. You lied. And I believed in you. I trusted you. You said we're getting on the fucking Ark. We are on the Ark, you idiot. I didn't lie. I can't be responsible for your goddamn ignorance. You fucking fuck. And there she goes. Please don't leave me alone. Catherine? Catherine? Oh my god. Oh. oh. I mean, that totally makes sense. We killed the WoW. The WoW was what was creating all the energy. It was the, the life force of the entire underwater base. And we fucking killed it. Thinking we are going to get onto the Ark. And obviously we didn't. And... So we, like, I was going to say, the lights started going out. I was like, why are the lights dimming? The guy, I'm like, it's getting really dark in here. And it just, power just ran out, and that was it. Holy fuck. Oh. Damn. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Yeah, it, what, a, what a crazy story, like... There's the whole concept of like the end of the earth and the end of like all life and all that except for like a bunch of people that were at the bottom of the ocean when a comet hit the planet and they're like, oh yeah, we're working on this thing. Oh. But now for thousands of years, there's going to be some satellite out in space with a fucking giant ass server in it playing the Matrix <laughs> on repeat. But, uh, damn. Oh, Mick Gordon did this music too? Okay, that... Mm, that tracks. So. That is Soma. So Soma is... I guess it's the, the name of the template they were using. Like, they're taking the copy of the human brain. Or, like, the human self that they were using and storing on the Ark. I'm just curious, like, what Soma stands for. Because I, I don't think I ever saw it in the game, and I feel like I read almost everything. There's no speed up button. Escape. Oh. What the fuck? Yo, what? Whoa. Is this... Did it work? This is... This is my original self from when the game started. A hundred years before the current time in the game. What the fuck? I didn't expect... It's stuff at the end. Where the fuck are we? Or... Or... Is this the Ark? 
This might be the Ark, and we're about to go find Catherine. Wow. Okay. So this is something. Is this the intro to Green Hell? No! I am getting a fucking call for work. I am so sorry. I'll be right back. That I don't need. Cool. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me, man. Um. <laughs> Pick up flashlight. Nice. Nice. Okay. God fucking damn it. Whoa, Black Betty, bang a lamb. Bam a lamb, ba bam bam. <gasps> have to rip the handle out of some fucking dead dude hopefully still dead dude more nails can't wait till i find a nailer i'm gonna have all these nails to shoot radiology all right all right we're back we're back we're back sorry about that let me switch over to the game um yeah it's something i don't have to take care of right now i just had to send a quick email to say that i would look at it Funny how contractual agreements work. What's this? Calibration survey version 0.3. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the ARC. Fucking called it. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Let's do the survey. How do you describe your physical condition? Uh, apparently I feel normal. How would you describe your mental condition? Uh, change in can No. Because it's definitely, I feel like I'm the right person from the beginning of the game. How would you describe your senses? As expected, normal, I suppose. I'm not underwater. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? I mean, it's pleasant. Fuck it, right? Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Uh, I'd say yes, I'm more my previous existence. That's normal. How do you perceive your new existence? Interpretation of yourself. New chapter in life, something born all over again. Something completely different that has nothing to do with my previous self. Like being born all over again, I guess. I guess it depends on what age you. I mean, while well, I guess it's the age that you were scanned at. So, like, family is still there. But it's backwards. Yeah, I'd say number three. As if these answers matter. <laughs> Do you think this new existence would be life worth living? Uh, yes, but with less me, maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. No two detached around it. Eh, fuck it. Stay positive. We could be at the bottom of the fucking ocean right now. <laughs> Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating with the ARC team. 
sure. I didn't expect an epilogue. This is crazy. What's up over here? Some type of structure back there. I mean, outside of the fucking little wooden things we've had built up here. What the fuck? Catherine? Yo, look at this place. Catherine! I can't believe we actually made it. Well, we did. I'm so relieved. It's okay, Simon. Everything's all right now. Except death. <laughs> I'm half expecting a to jump out. Or cliff race it from Morrowind. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Earth. <laughs> oh, it's time, baby. It's time, Fry. No, <laughs> we're literally at the post-credits. Oh shoot! So I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I still think it was a. <laughs> I'm dead. That was uh, that was topical. <laughs> Your computer program floating for an eternity. Hey, that's not bad. If you're if you're sentient, it's fine, I guess. Crop in the VOD say, thought you'd have more than ten minutes left. Um, I knew we were towards the end, but like, legit, I should have just. I mean, it was after two o'clock in the morning. I was fucking tired as shit. But uh, it's it was still like the ending was like, oh damn. <laughs> Um, you'll appreciate my reaction in the VOD, I'm sure. I mean, the good news about that version of humanity is that humans can't fuck up a planet. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. The end. And that was Soma. Holy shit. Oh, look, and now the face is together. Because before, Catherine's face was, like, apart. Huh. Well. I think this calls for our next game. Because it's only 1046. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe we'll have to end the stream early or something. Nope. And maybe this is a bad thing now. <laughs> because, uh, oh, boy. It will fuck up the AI world somehow, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I'm, I'm right there with you. <laughs> they, they'd find a way. Okay. We got the game loading up here. Um, oh god, it's already jumping like crazy. Shit. Alright, so once I can get control of the options, I'm gonna tone this shit down. Uh, V-Sync is on. Trust me, I'm looking at it. Um, I think it's still a little wishy-washy. Let me lower it down to low. And that. I think that might be a bit better, actually. Yes, zero four five one. Yes. Um, okay, I don't really have to worry about the controls for this because I'm pretty sure they explain everything. Okay. All right, so let's do some updating of some screens here. Um, but anywho, 
who is excited for the Mortuary Assistant? Um, because we played the demo, or a portion of the demo, but um, the performance was super janky. Uh, my OBS settings were not up to snuff at that point in time, as we ended up finding out. So, uh, yeah, where this game came out a couple days ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> game came out a couple days ago um, in full, and I've been looking forward to actually playing it. I've only seen bits and pieces of what the demo had to offer, so I'm really excited to see where uh, we're going with this. Oh, of course, Forsen was playing it. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let me get my game capture rolling here. Because we're no longer playing Soma. That's good. Kill this. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Uh, I'm just updating the title. Boom. Bam. Okay. We are updated. I'm going to have to look to avoid spoilers. Hope you have a good time, man. Oh, I totally get you, Mental. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming in. I uh, hope you have a lovely, lovely evening. As for the rest of us, I think it's time for the Mortuary Assistant. And of course, I have the wrong goddamn sound thing on. Do, 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 do. Boop. There we go. Okay. Now I can actually control it. Um, so I already did the options. They're already all set and ready to go. So I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, start our new shift. Fry, thank you very much for the behind the scenes stream challenge channel points. I think we hit 25% last night. Uh, so we're getting there. I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I need a beer. Connecticut. Oh, I'll never understand fuck. why you it's chose It's close enough that I'm going down to There's nothing but disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. God, I really a creepy am. woman. You've come so she, far. She looks like she's already dead. So... You haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job in R or they actually? Yeah, I totally understand, RK. Totally understand. But Thank you so much. Teacher, Thanks so much Mr. for the Delver, lark. I appreciate it. Me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no, no, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here, River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. Oh, I don't Rebecca. like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things oh, about Oh, it's the that grandmother. Is. Okay. I'm like, this is a mother? Damn. Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Indie gaming. That's a scary <laughs> thing to a lot Hell yeah. of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. <sighs> but I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. Of course. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. All right, that's rude. It like, should be yours anyway. At least take it and say, thanks, Grandma, and then, like, wear it. And then when you, you know, take it off after. <laughs> thanks. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Hmm. So things have been good. I thought I thought when we did the demo, that was like our first night. I guess that was just a way to kind of do a little testy, feely on it. All right. 
Here we go. <laughs> okay. We made it in. Let's see. the. Uh, Alright, performance is looking decent right now on the stream. But please do let me know if it starts getting really wonky. Um, again, we had a hell of a time trying to get the demo to work earlier. Mr. Delver's business cards. Riverfields Mortuary established 1970. Is that Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> Nothing here. No, no loose change. Too bad. Pencil used to sign the paperwork left on the door. Oh. Quick inventory. Access quick inventory and choose the items you wish to use. Most but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. So you have to... Right mouse button. Okay. Ah. I can't use that here. Yes, new game demon. We just started. It's the mortuary assistant. Saw a few minutes of the game earlier. Didn't see the demo, and this could be too much for me. We'll see. <laughs> Rebecca, one last thing I've got to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. Already out here, nice and warm Rebecca, for me. <laughs> Jesus. Great. Perfect timing. <gasps> I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Wow. Okay. Moving the deceased. <laughs> Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. E. Yeah, it's, it's fucking great. Yeah, thanks for the clip. Thanks. If at any point in time, if I'm looking down at their face and their eyes open up, I'm probably going to stop playing this game. <laughs> open the door. Stay, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Okay. I like how they have the outline in which direction it's supposed to go in. Because I, I feel like I tried going head first the first time. <laughs> it didn't work. See ya. Move the gurney. Good night. I'm gonna be honest, mentally tired, but physically not tired. Oh, I've. That's me on most evenings. Alright, hold on. Rotate. Oh, wrong button. You gotta, uh. Push this back in. You know, I'm gonna clean up here. A work environment. It's my review coming up soon. Okay. Let's get to work, Doc. All right. I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. I want to see what you look like. Uh, pretty fucking typical. Clipboard. Clipboard used for forms keeping track of mortuary tasks. Large item. A few clipboard is spacebar. <clears throat> right, Dorothy Page, age 87. Uh, recording the distinguishing marks. Alright, so we need to look at head, both shoulders, both arms, both legs. 
Uh, I'll do it from here. Okay. Inspecting a body. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them to the clipboard. I have a mark right there, but all right. I don't see anything crazy here. Jeez, the football been killing me. Oh, jeez. I check the shoulders. Oh, hello. Okay. Now we'll... Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Oh. I'm like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Rotate. Now it looks good. Back. Now we'll do this leg. Can't rotate the legs, I guess. And we'll get a mark right here. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Sir, I'm not done Don't forget yet. to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can Sir? add to the packet for the family. After Sir? That, we'll get started. Sir, I am not done. Oh, wait, there was a mark. I can't even record it. Unfucking believable. So unprofessional. Okay. Had to get advert information. Click the record system icon to open. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? Y yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. Okay. Click the record system icon to open the program. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Once all findings have been entered into the system, click Submit to print out embalming records, then follow the records up front to begin the embalming. <laughs> sir, do you mean miss? No, I was saying sir as in like uh, the doctor. and There was definitely a man, uh, man's voice there. <clears throat> all right, record system. Oh, I hit OK. R record system. Right shoulder. I have to put the name in first, probably. To oh. It's even easier than I thought. And then left leg. That's it. Okay, so click, click, click. Submit. Jesus, I was like, where did he go? Embalming report. A packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. Okay, I'll be right back, dog. I like the tutorial of where to walk and what to press. Okay, I thought you were talking to the woman who's dead and feeling some Walking Dead vibes. No, 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 no. Oh, I probably have to do a uh, right click and then yeah. Time to embalm. Shut the doors. Have a little privacy, please. All right, I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Thanks. All right. So we've retrieved body from cold storage. We've inspected body for identifying marks. We have to wire jaw shut with needle injector and settings needles. Oh boy. Needle injector and settings needles. Needle injector. Where's the setting needles? Mm, eye caps. No. 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 Nope. Can't hold anything else. There they are. Okay. Let's go wire her jaw shut. Setting the face. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull. Then twist the wires to shut the jaw. Jesus Christ. Come on. 
There we go. <laughs> this is what I saw. And I was like, uh, it is the mortuary assistant. <laughs> Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Use the main player to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eye to place the cap and close the eye. Oh, this is this is aggressive. We have placed the caps. We are shutting right. the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, tree. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Mixing bombing fluid and pump. That's a lot of different words. I know formaldehyde. I know methanol. Let's go with those two first. Oh, here they are. One. Formaldehyde. I can't hold anything else. Alright, how do I drop shit? Okay. How do I fucking... Oh. So we drop the PVC tubing. I can't... I can't hold anything oh, right. <laughs> Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Bro, you what? The, the, the shit just flew off the fucking shelves. I thought they stored him properly. The fuck are you talking about? Right, we get the next one. Okay. <sighs> Having an eyeball of a good time. <laughs> Make an incision in the corroded artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Oh my. I think I already have the scalpel. No, that's a scalpel right there. Thank you. I'll take that. Some items need to be used directly on the body. Choose an item, open quick inventory, and select the item needed. What's quick uh, quick inventory? Oh yeah. I'm missing something. There we go. I'm missing something. What are you missing? Use four steps to clamp tubing to both veins and connect. Okay. Need the tubing again. There we go. Alright, now engage pump and let the body drain. Clip. Nice. So, uh, this is a thing. Oh, this is a Black Dahlia Murder song. <laughs> like, it looks like it's still draining. Does it say turn off yet? Like, it's getting clearer, but it's still pretty red. What do you think, Doc, huh? Am I doing good? What the fuck? What the fuck? 
tell me you all just saw that. Bro, I, you were looking in this direction. Is it done? Okay. You didn't see it? A figure just walked by from right to left in that doorway. I shit you not, when I was here and I was dicking around, I kind of looked up and just saw the whoop. Oh my god. Okay, what's next? Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid, then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. Empty IV reservoir bag. Yep. Cavity fluid in a trocar. Is this cavity fluid? No. <clears throat> oh, cavity fluid. And, uh... We filled it with cavity fluid, then we had to insert the trocar into the abdominal cavity. Filling the body cavities, insert the trocar until it stops... Until it stops to begin the flow of embalming fluid. Once that cavity is full, pull the trocar back, rotate it, then reinsert until the reservoir bag is empty. What in the world? Just another day in the mortuary. <laughs> Rose. She's looking ripped. <laughs> yeah, ripped in half. Okay, so that's done. Mix cleaners in bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Bathroom closet? Where's the bathroom closet? I think that was a graphical glitch, but I thought there was someone looking through the window. Now I'm all fucking jumpy. Okay. Head into the bathroom, no big deal. I can't hold anything else. That's not it. Oh, I have the tank cleaner now. Okay, I got it. I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing here? Okay. We've created tank cleaner. Pour into the embalming pump. Okay. Apply a moisturizer to facial features. Oh, what? We haven't got that far yet. We're totally missing the fucking run. <sighs> Jesus. I don't like this place. That's the new diet fad right there. Gross. Alright, so where's the moisturizer, my dude? Moisturizer. Moisturizing pad. That's right, I knew that. Move the wipe across facial features while holding down and track until the lotion is used up. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. You just want me to leave? Okay. Bye. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Get the fuck out of there. Um. Wow. <laughs> that was a hell of a fucking. It was just really weird. Yeah. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. 
No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <sighs> yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Yeah, this is where the demo actually picked up, I believe. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you three could come cadavers. in Three cadavers? First night? Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Okay, cool. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was I know, fine. Megan. I know. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk like, to you later. Like, right now. My god, can I go stuff some bodies oh, with chemicals? Where did I put my keys? Actually, leave that music on. Death and Decay, a book covering the process and science of decomposition. Is this scary so far? Um, so there was a couple... We just did the tutorial, and there's a couple moments that I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Cool. Got my keys. Oh. Temporary items do not take up space in your normal inventory. Use temporary items by directing, directly interacting with the object that requires it. Okay. Looks like they're mission critical items. Damn, I'm going to bring some food with me. Ocuo cereal. <laughs> Moth bomb cereal. Lunabit cereal. Dude, that's that's fucking hilarious. I love that. <laughs> Thank you, Demon, for contributing some points towards the uh, behind the scenes stream. Yo, that's so funny. All right, close the door, maybe. Jesus, let's get to work. All right. So head to the back and get started. <gasps> what was that noise? I didn't see what happened. I missed it. Hi, Rebecca. <sighs> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just oh. Try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden. Have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Uh, this uh, isn't uh, funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> What am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying Is it bad to drink some Diet Mountain Dew right now? I left some things um, on the desk. I think it's I'll always a bad idea to drink Diet Mountain Dew, but that's just me. No, wait. <sighs> Yo, Sass, what what's up? Fuck? This is insane. So apparently he banged on the door behind me and I had no idea. Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just... Just play along. 
and do your job. quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Yeah, that, that's really fucked up. All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is I'm extremely doing all right, unprofessional. Sass. Hope you're doing well. If this is how you treat we just new hires, start a mortuary assistant. For you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. Oh. This is insane. Whatever. Professional one, grab a body and get started. Well, let me go check this out first. I mean, he said, okay, the process of possession is the third At one. Every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Jesus. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, Play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. It's a lot taken, yeah. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. The Book of Type and Conver Conversions. Uh, six, Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe, for all are assigned to the halls of hell. Seven, Abaddon, goddess, he has abandoned you. Or, sorry, abandoned goddess, he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into your hearts and revel in his glorious sin, for all are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the houses of hell, as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. Eight, and as he passed, Onoran looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. Nine, Typhon looked unto Onoran and said, Pray as you wish, fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Ten, pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation the ashes of man, for it burns eternal and sinful fire. Jesus. 11. Typhon held the charred remains of Derod and walked among his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh, setting the reeds in his hand ablaze. He said unto Honoran, See now that all are marked in the glory of Satan. Honoran beheld a flesh of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed and from it. 
He saw Mark burn deep into their flesh. One of three for the houses of hell, for we all are destined to serve his higher purpose. And Typhon extended the ashes of Durad to the hands of Onoran and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own ignited sin and accept the true God. Jesus. My word. They say I'd open this. Fuck. Um. Well, we got the clipboard. I can keep track of things. Oh, so everything kind of put into its own little place. Great. All right. Let's just get this going. Grab this thing first, I forgot. The gurney. No. Come here, building. Fuck me in here. Scare the shit out of me. I don't even know which body I'm supposed to get first. I probably should have checked the computer, huh? Whatever. Just grab a body and get started. Just grab a body. I don't. There's. Doesn't matter which one. Like, who's even in here? Is Al Brennan in here? Well, we'll get Al Brennan, I guess. So difficult dealing with that. Actually, I just leave it open. Fuck it. He's not here to watch my every move. I mean, he locked me in here, but oh. my back already hurts thinking about how fucking terrifying this is going to be. All right, let's check you out. Oh yeah, right. We're gonna do this first. Check your head. No markings there. Nothing here. Hello? Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. How long I went to school? You career path. Fuck this. Fine. Maybe. No. Maybe everything's fine. It's it's fine. What? No, I, I just. I'm just saying things. I need to get back to work. It's, it's fine. Where's uh, where's my thing I just took? There's a little marking over there, but I don't see anything in particular. Oh, there's our cassette player. Hands and pockets. Okay. All right. Oh, I have the key to this thing. Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. To banish a demon to hell. It must be bound to its chosen body. And this is fine. Indeed it is, three yeah. Objects in this cabinet <laughs> yeah, team tools. a good call. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will 
will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body, with the reagent inside... I don't really have a choice. I'm stuck here. Fuck. Um, any reason why that just died halfway through? To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, Bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture. Uh, the hard to say, Demon. The parts the are all different price now. Body, with the reagent inside, Your best bet is to use the PCPartPicker.com site I sent you. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the Demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, Pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, inside furniture. Anywhere. Demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the Night Shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture, uncover the sigils, build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. I mean, can I just do it on everybody? Would that just make things easier? I, I think it would at least. Oh right, I have to uh... Oh fuck. Can we not? I guess I have to go approach this. reason why you're doing that? Listen, I have to get to work, okay? Is that cool? Jesus Christ. Okay, nothing smoking. Time to get to work. Christ. Uh, we looked at the head already. Marks there. Marks on the legs. Be honest, new Twitch update for the app is so so. Yeah, I'm not a fan of their app regardless. There we go. I still have one more thing to check. I guess not really, because it's going to be the back that we've already looked at and I've already got that. Hmm. Okay, that's fair. The 
let's get a record system. Uh, we've got right shoulders, blemishes, contusion on the left arm, and I don't know how to pronounce that word, but it's going to be on the left leg. I okay. need to file the copy up front. Yes, we do. And, uh... Oh, that's what that thing is. Okay. Oh, I fucking hit the wrong button. Uh, bottom Time to embalm. Okay, real quick. I guess that kind of works, huh? Where is it? So is it this symbol right there? Is that what that is? The upside down like hook thing? I don't see any anywhere else like where that letter is supposed to be. Let's go take a look. Um yeah, right here. I don't know which one it's supposed to go in, but it's definitely gonna be in there. Alright, cool. I like that. Oh, have a good night, demon. Appreciate you, buddy. Okay. So. Now you have to do... Oh, needle injector and settings needles. There is everything. Oh, that's his access card. There we go. What's on the back of it? I need to look on the back. 2285. I mean, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is lonely. You mentioned having some down there before. I don't trust him to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier for everyone. <laughs> Zoe. Extra keys. I already forgot the damn number. 225. Okay. That's mine. Uh, needle injector. Same needles. Oh, cool. It's, they put it right in a, a good spot. So this is to do the job. I'm missing something. What? Why are jaws shut with needle injector and setting needles? Oh, I didn't take the other thing. I don't know why I didn't take it. Bizarre. <laughs> All right, that's done. Insert eye caps. All right, where do we keep the eye caps at? Eye caps. Eye caps. I'm not even gonna look. I know that light just shut off. And I don't fucking care. All right. P 
piece of shit. And bombing fluids, okay. Just trying to save electricity. You know, I guess. I need some of that. Uh, I don't think bleaching agent is what I needed. Nope. Yep. Can't hold anything else. All right, one at a time. I forgot. Here. Yep. What's the last one? Methanol. Where is the methanol? I feel like it was in the kind of a black container. Boom. See, I I, I get it. The door just opened. Or does it want me to put reagent into all the bodies? I mean, okay. I gotta go look. It's gonna bother me. Bye. <laughs> Something just laughed at me as I tried to get in my car. I hate it. Jesus. Give me some fucking privacy while I work. My god. Now. I need a scalpel. There should be one. Nope. Top one. Delicious. Alright, we need to use forceps to clamp tubing. that thing. Here's the tubing. No, it's moisturizing pad. Tubing. No. Yep. Maybe this is a forcep? Yeah, okay. I'm dumb. I knew that's what it was. And I was like, no, I don't need that. Okay. Gauge pump let the body drain. Best part. fucking pieces of paper. I'm gonna let that sit. For a little extra. Why are you out? Uh, sideways G. That's it. There's only me to say, in one ear and out the other. <laughs> Turn off pump, remove tubes, and close incision. I 
Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid and insert trocar. Okay. So empty, I need a trocar. I need the empty IV bag, which is where? Empty IV bags. So I cap scalpels. Huh. Moisturizing. Tubing. Oh. Got it. Okay. Yum. Fantastic. Mix cleaners and bathroom clothes to create tank cleaner. Then pour into the bombing pump. Yep. We haven't quite done that part yet. Well, I mean, we did earlier today, but. Who was, was that me running? Oh, God. There's a. I hate that. Now I have tank cleaner. Rates. All right, we'll apply the moisturizer to this dude while we're waiting. I don't know it's not going to let us yet. We have to wait. There we go. Flying solo, achieve it unlocked. Cool. One down, let's bring this dude back. Nice, you're gonna have a nice evening back in the freezer. His feet wiggle if I jiggle. That's, that's fucking hilarious. And also really rude, sorry sir. Oh yeah, I left it open. Deanne Mercer. Welcome, Deanne. This is our last trip. Hope you enjoy it. Give up. So I wish I could sprint, but I can't. I guess this is too heavy, which I guess makes sense. Clickety click, click, click. Ooh, I have to pick up another one of these things over here. And what was that? What was his number again? Two two eight five. I can't take those. Okay, real quick. No. I, I want to get out of the record system, please. Oh, dirt. Two two eight five. So I have the bomb each part with their special reagent. Okay. 
Let's switch to the camera to attempt to reveal demonic sigils. Compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's names within the Night Shift database. Build the mark to match the demon's name. Okay, so we, we'll know the pieces. This will tell us what order they go in. Attention to each body for demonic activity. Let the bring an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary. Place the mark on the body blue to have demonic tendency. Burn that body in the retort before possession takes hold. Whew. Appearance of new markings on the body. Okay. Sudden movements. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Did anyone just fucking see that thing just kind of pop up and look at us? My god. Thank you, shoes for the lurk, man. <sighs> Sudden movements, large or small. Repeat movements. Is one body more active than others? When a demonic entity is present, the vessel is occupying only four markings. Because he observed. Alright. I'm not looking at sudden shit. I'm good. That was that was that scared the fuck out of me. Alright, well let's fucking get to work. God, that scared the fuck out of me. Um, real quick. Uh what is it? This button? Oh shit. Inhalation, good band. Five nights at the mortuary. No markings on the head. One on there. One in that back corner. On the hand. Some ankle action there. Nope. I'm just gonna flip this. There we go. A little bit. Okay. Now I go take care of the paperwork. Would I take another one of these? I already have one of those. Okay, just wanted to make sure, sorry. Entry number two, Dan Mercer, page 29. Rash of blemishes on right shoulder, contusion on right arm, paralysis on right leg, rash on left arm. Okay. That was, that was fucking freaky. Holy shit. Hello there. Yeah, that's what that little thing said to me. It was hello there. What's up, Yak Nasty? Welcome in. <sighs> Holy shit. They've added a lot more things. Like, I had, like, the stuff moving around and, like, the body would contort, and, like, in the demo. And I was like, all right, this is pretty sketchy. Um, I've now had two, di three different figures show up. <sighs> what is all this? Oh, just to remind you how to do different things. Okay. Sure, I guess. What am I doing again? Oh yeah, I have to go bring this thing out now. Fuck me. game sucks. I fucking hate it. Alright, let's try another one. I have two. 
Oh, great. The circuits can fucking trip, can't they? I'm gonna go check by my car. No? Okay. that please wow all right there's nothing else i can get fire from here so we'll uh we'll chill out on that front for a bit so again needle injector and settings needles let me close this door <laughs> I got some eye caps. All right. What's next? Oh, I'm bombing fluid stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course. <gasps> Someone just tapped on the fucking window. That hurt my fucking back. <sighs> the atmosphere is is very, very fucking on edge. Like it's just a cold, you know, like office room, hospital feel, like just that everything is overly clean. Just, ugh. And it, it, it's just like the, the rain going on, like, it's just masking out enough noise, but... Oof. Okay. Let's just keep focused on our work, alright? No, I don't want to put the bleaching agent in there. Nope. There it is. There's more up top, I think. Jesus. There's some here. Oh, right. I'm gonna secretly put this uh, nice shit in here. Whatever that does. Okay, next. Fuck me. Oh wait, it's, we know it's not gonna be really him. He said he's not gonna call back. Hello? Go ahead. Hello? Why are you still doing this? I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. <laughs> Jesus. So my sister's name is Rebecca? I should have her play this. That'd be fucking great. <clears throat> Scapple. Excuse me. Oh, jeez, keep hitting the wrong buttons. I wonder if it's gonna be like a, if you could speed run this game. I bet you you can at some point. Uh, no, I need those. Thank you. And then we need a bag of tubing. missing something. Oh, sorry. Four steps first, then the tubing. You're so silly. Gauge pump let the body drain. Fun part. When this goes on, I'm gonna go run around with this thing. Alright, ghosts, demons, everybody else. There's gotta be something else that can set you off. Apparently not outside. 
Oh, the bulkhead. I don't have the keys for it. Alright, I think that's about done. My paper had a scribble on it. Oh, yeah, let me, uh... Yeah, it's getting worse. It's getting much worse. What are these? Cremation bags. Oh, interesting. Alright, so I got nothing so far for that. Alright, now what? <clears throat> Filling empty. Oh, IV reservoir, bad cavity fluid. Trocar. Trocar. Get the reservoir bags. Let me fill it up over here. Let me go over here. Hello? Asshole. We just made new marks. Did you fucking see that right there? The door's closed. Um. Something is going on as we speak. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I'm trying to do this, and you won't let me. Like, do I just go over here and, like, report it? I can't change it. <laughs> um, fuck. What the fuck? The absolute piss out of me. Yeah. What are you doing here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why am I in the bathroom? Why am I in the bathroom? Why am I in the bathroom? So I'm going to set the wall, probably. <laughs> yep, where is it? Where is it? Right. Where the fuck? What the... Is it outside? I don't see it on the wall or anything. What the fuck? I don't see it out here either. That's not good. Where's one of the sim- I can't see one of the symbols. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh boy. I can't watch this before bed. Um, that's fair. Honestly, I think this is the last body I'm going to do, and I'm going to go to bed myself. Well, I got some other stuff I have to do, too, but I don't know what's going on with that symbol. Like, if I grab another one of these, can I do it again?
No, it doesn't go again. Interesting. I have no idea what that symbol is. Oh, it's right up there. Uh, a bent spoon? That's all I got of that. Bent spoon. Right there. Alright. We've got three out of the four. So that's pretty good. Uh, oh, right, 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 right. There we go. There we go. No big deal. Mix cleaners and bathroom closet. Okay. We're going to the bathroom. Which we were just in. I could have mixed Wahoo! the bugs in there. Oh my goodness. That scared the life out of me. Uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name. Is it Kehasis Lacora? Either way, welcome to the mob. Welcome in. We're playing some Mortuary Assistant. Game just dropped a couple days ago. And uh, I had a chance to play the demo a little bit uh, a few months back and was really liking it. So I figured I'd buy the game and play it. So here we are. Did you find us by looking for Mortuary Assistant uh, channels? Or did you find us somehow else today? Let me get the moisturizer ready. Of course, found the Howard Dean shout nice and early. Always a good time. I was just waiting for this thing to finish up. Got it. Let's go apply some moisturizer. This face. All right. All right, so this one is done. We now returned the body to cold storage. Two down, one more to go. Hopefully there's a uh, save point soon. Okay. Do the dead comfort me? I mean, not really. It's comforting that I'm not dead. How about that? Does that, does that work? Does that work for you? Because I think that works for me. This dude's body was already hanging out, too. I don't think it means he moved. I just think something moved it. Something is going on. Oh, shit. I'm just making a circle now. Possessions really getting close. Need to the bed too. Can't wait to watch more. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to get to the next save point. Wherever that may be. Oh, it's right there. I'm waiting for it to finish saving. And there we have it. Okay. That is gonna do it for tonight. Um, it's just yeah, about midnight now, and. Uh, I want to keep playing, but unfortunately, I just, my poor back can only take so much of sitting in this chair, and I already sit here enough during the day. Uh, oh, Kareem, you just made it in, and of course, I'm getting ready to rain out. <laughs> I'm so glad you made it in, though. Thank you. Welcome in. Um, yeah, we're just playing Mortuary Assistant, and this game is as terrifying as I thought it was going to be, because the demo was pretty scary. Um, I only get to play a little bit of it. I was having stupid performance issues with OBS at the time, and I 100% blamed the game on it because it was a demo. Um, but I lowered the quality down, and it's it was streaming fine. Your timing doesn't suck. I'm just glad you made it. I was fighting with my internet. It's the worst fight. It seriously is. I had to f I fought with it last night, actually. 
pesky little bastards. Ugh. I have performance issues with IBS. Her, her. My, my. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah. Um, we're going to be playing more of this for sure um, on Friday. I'm not going to be in tomorrow. Um, I'm definitely going to take some time to just chill tomorrow. Um, and I have so much video editing I need to get done, too. So, maybe I'll catch up on some of that. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Come on, I'm waiting for this warning thing to go away so I can actually close the game. Yeah, so this is the night, bitch. Kareem. Kareem at one hug. You didn't have to give me biddies. Thank you so much. I will, t yes, I gotta take care of myself. Um, for those that are not following Kareem yet, please do so. A fantastic VTuber. Here, I'll heal you. <laughs> It was five different endings for this game, too. So, DB, that must be DBD. You're, You're fixing a generator. <laughs> but yes, um, if you, like I mentioned, if you're not following Kareem, now is the time. Please do. Old school DBD. I was going to say, that looked really, like, not like really old. It just definitely looked like the old days of it. Like, probably like the last time I played it. <laughs> um, so, let's see. Let's see. We gotta find somebody to raid. And I'm pretty sure there's only a zillion people on that I know right now. Um, yeah, we got ropes on playing as Dusk Falls. We have Emery Fairy's Escape Simulator. Max Specs Hunt Showdown. Heavy's playing Destiny 2. Noxler is playing games and demos, and it says insert good title here. He's not playing games and demos. I just looked over the screen. He is playing. Vampire Survivors. RK is playing Mortuary Assistant. First Among Cows is our secret below. Uh, we got Lady Gweebs playing a Plague Tale. Joel's playing Mortuary Assistant. Diana's playing Mortuary Assistant. And then One Speed's playing Mists of Aiden. And he's still going on day six on his subathon. Holy shit. You know what, let's go let's send it over to Knox just because like the mortuary assistant is it's enough. It's it's late. Why don't we all go hang out with Knox? We'll play some vampire survivors. Nice relaxing game. Uh <laughs> but man, we're definitely gonna play more of this on Friday. I am I'm very excited to keep playing. And it looks like you just keep playing um it might be like a, like it's you just keep kind of replaying it from the start. Um Assuming from the first shift. But this show, there's five different endings, apparently. Get some good chill before bed. Yeah, gotta get that good chill. Um, I hate when you hit... Why have to type in the name? Just show me my list. There we go. Okay. Kicking off the raid. We're heading over to Noxler. Uh, please enjoy your Thursday tomorrow. I'm gonna do my best. Tomorrow's my busiest day of the week in terms of, like, meetings and stuff like that. But, um... I'm going to take the evening off, get some admin work done, and then um, Friday we're going to have like like a more like sponsored HelloFresh stream. Talk about that stuff, it'll be kind of fun. I won't make it this focus, obviously, but uh, yeah, one more Trey assistant, and then something after that, some other hard game to scare the shit of myself with. I don't know. Anyways, go have fun with Noxler, I'll catch you guys Friday. Bye!